on, on top of that, I want to talk about this, guys. They put updates in for Enlightened Reputation for how long it takes, and they put together all the values for all of the uh, um, story quests as well. And down here we have some numbers, and it's basically reaching Honored Reputation with the Enlightened will take around 10 days. If you do all story quests, you kill all the rares, and you do world quests. It's going to take around 10 days. So we should get, in a week and a half, about, maybe a little less, if you're really, really fast, you're going to get to Honored in that time. Heroic, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty good. And then uh, Revered will be uh, around 25 days, and then Exalted will take 55 but I will say, I mean, I, I feel like this is fine. 10 days for um, uh, ten days for Honored is really fast if you do everything, honestly. I don't mind that at all. That's really fast. Um, and then obviously Revere 25, that's not bad either. So if you really want to wanna grind, then yeah. Okay, okay over there. Bing, 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 bing. Uh, it's funny after completing chapter 5 of the 9.2 campaign which rep do I need for a 262 well it's the crafters mark they're both honored both both of the crafters marks are, are unhonored Gellens. wonder if I will get cut in edge in time hey you gotta hope so yeah both of them both of them both of these nuts no uh, both of them aren't honored. So. And uh, as you can see right here, the Eternal Augment Rune, which is the reusable one, uh, that's going to take 55 days if people do daily con do everything every day. Um, so the Veiled Augment Runes are going to be, you know, they're probably going to be pretty good for at least two months. Because it's only super hard grinders that are going to get to this in two months, you know? For normal players, for the normal player base, this is probably going to take three months. Blizzard has announced some upcoming changes to reputation gains that deserve more. This allowing players to reach revered reputation without killing a single rare. Went double. Wow. Okay. This principle is a good one. People shouldn't feel like they need to play every day. And people shouldn't feel like when they play, the incentives don't steer people towards the fun. So yeah, we hear the community concerns with overweighting rares. When rares constitute a lion's share of the total rep that you can get in a day, that can create a sense of obligation to pursue them all. True. Since there are so many, this turns the daily acquisitions of rep into a time-consuming process rather than something you can target and complete, or mostly complete, in a reasonable play session. We want rares to feel like a bonus rather than an obligation, so the reputation earned from rares being decreased from 15 or 30 rep to uh, each to 10 or 15 rep each. Bro, that's... Dude, it's a good change, but let's be honest. If you want to grind for, for a rep, you still got to do this shit. You still have to farm this. Along with this change, because we don't want to reduce the total incoming rep, we've increased the reputation of other uh, sources to compensate. Well quest, well board, 125 instead of 100. Not bad. Andros, the world boss, will award 500 instead of 250. I mean, that doesn't really matter that much. We're only going to be able to get it twice or once, maybe, before we're honored. And the twice we request patterns within patterns, well, I have five. Oh, okay. 500 instead of 250. The net effect of this will be a small increase in the total potential rep gain each day, and rares will take up a much lower proportion of those gains. This will allow players to feel like they can be done for, a, for the day earlier without significant long-term cost, while still allowing those players who want to push some harder incentive to do so. I mean, yeah. That's pretty good. It won't change anything for us because we'll do everything we can to get to honor ASAP, no? Pretty much. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, the people that want to hyper grind can still do it and and get ahead. But the people that do not want to hyper grind can say, I don't want to and still not fall insanely behind. So, I mean, overall, this is a decent change. Um... But people would probably still complain about it, you know? But it's a pretty good change. Yeah. I don't mind it. <laughs>